In this video, we will demonstrate how to integrate an Emerson Micromotion Coriolis meter with Ethernet IP to a PLC with Rockwell Studio 5000 Logix Designer Software. The objectives for this video are to log on to the onboard web server, add a Micromotion electronic data sheet to the Studio 5000 Logix Designer Software, and configure the inputs and outputs within the PLC. This process can be used for Emerson Micromotion transmitters with Ethernet capability enabled. For this video, we will be demonstrating on a 1600 compact Ethernet transmitter. The first step is to ping the transmitter to ensure that it is communicating. This can be done by opening a command window and typing ping followed by the IP address of the transmitter. If you are unsure of the address of the transmitter, you can always check what it is set to through the display of the device. Additionally, ProLink software can also be used to access the address. At this point, you are also able to log onto the web server that's onboard the device to check configuration or to see other tools. This can be done by opening a browser window entering the IP address of the meter, and then entering your login information. Here, you can see how the meter is functioning, view any action alerts, access the configuration, diagnostic tools, and downloading process data logs and historians. The next step for integration is to load the electronic data sheet file into the PLC. The electronic data sheet or EDS file simplifies the commissioning process. This file can be obtained through a few different methods. First, the EDS file can be downloaded through the Micromotion website on the appropriate product page. Alternatively, if using a 5700, the file can be obtained by inserting a USB thumb drive into the servant port and navigating to the Download Support Files screen. The next step is to load the file into RS Logix. This can be done by going into Tools, EDS Hardware Installation Tool, Register an EDS file. Select the EDS file in the window, and then proceeding through to the EDS wizard. Alternatively, the EDS can be pulled directly from the device using RS links. This allows you to pull the file directly and load it into your RS logic system. To do this, open RS links, find the appropriate transmitter, right click, and select upload EDS file from device. Once the file is loaded, you can proceed with the final integration. Navigate to the PLC controller organizer and right click on the Ethernet icon, then select new module. From the catalog, select Micromotion as the vendor and then select the appropriate meter. Click create and in the new module window, enter a name for the flow meter as well as the IP address. At this point, you will need to select which data will be passed from the meter to the PLC, and if needed, what data will be passed from the PLC to the meter. This allows you to select exactly the information needed for your process without overwhelming your system with extra data. To start this, select Change in the new module window and open the module definition window. This will allow you to select both input and output assemblies from a pull-down menu of available connection types. 
An explanation of variables associated with these connection types can be found online in the Micromotion Ethernet IP supplement. Selecting OK will bring you back to the new module window, where you can select advanced configuration options if needed. From here, your tags will be accessible from your controller tags window in RS Logic. Now you are prepared to connect your Micromotion Coriolis transmitter to a PLC. For the complete set of configuration instructions, please refer to the Micromotion transmitter configuration and use manual, which can be found at emerson.com.